meal loss Q and A on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week, and she asked us if you know it would be good if you know other people did it, if like maybe like the senior directors did it, and I was everybody was like, yes, yeah, like get new people in there, you know what I mean? Like instead of seeing the same people all the time, I kind of feel like it's good when new people are in there and you know explaining things and um. You know, I think that's pretty cute. So, and then she also mentioned to us that like we should be doing our own. And you know, cause that, that one from Team Nailed It is just so big that I feel like people get so lost. Or not lost, it's just, you know, the comments that are going down and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just not as, I don't know, it's just not as small, you know? So, and I think too, like, if you're putting your prospects in there and they're seeing you talk in that three day boss thing, like I think that's huge. So, yeah. So, um, so Margaret Gresham and her team did, was it, how many days was it? It was three days. It was three days. Okay. I mean, you could do one day, two day, you know, whatever kind of works for everyone. I wanted to do three days just to give everybody a chance to get on when it worked for them. Mm. So I think that's, I think three days seems like really good for some reason. Yeah. You know, because I think if it's one, people are afraid they're going to, they, they missed it. Or like for me, like, you know, I worked those two days together. So it's kind of like, oh, like I never really got on there. So I think three days, I feel like is, it's, it's long enough, but short enough too. Because right. I feel like if you draw it out longer than that, I think it would seem too much, don't you think? Absolutely. And a lot of people on our team work during the day, so we had to fit them in at night. So we didn't have things going all day long. So mm -hmm. it was just trying to fit everybody in at night. So that worked out well with the three days too. But I think that's kind of good though, because it, then it gives your prospects, if they're working during the day, or even if they're not, they can either catch up or they can actually see you guys on live, you know? Right. Well, I don't think that's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal either. I did um, like post a schedule on the group just so people knew when people were going to be on live. But honestly, like it didn't matter because I feel like most people were catching up with it whenever they had time. Mm -hmm. And you created a group, right? I created a private closed group. Yeah. Um, and I made the little banner for it on um, Canva or maybe Font Candy. I don't remember which one. Yeah, um, but I just searched images and then put my own, you know, stuff on it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then I just like, you know, sent it to my team and I just asked people to, you know, reach out to anyone they had been talking to and um, or anyone they think might, you know, want to hear a little bit more and um, and just add them to the group. And I had a few people from my considering group that I put in there mm -hmm. and a couple of people that I had been talking to um, messaging. So I just, um, I posted it in my considering nail boss group. I posted it in my, I posted it everywhere. My <laughs> personal wall, uh, my VIP page, my considering group, and um, I, I private messaged everyone I thought would want to be in there just because I've been talking to a lot of people about it and I wanted them to see our team because I think our team's awesome and I wanted them to see who they'd be working with and who they'd be chatting with so I thought that would be good yeah so absolutely. Good yeah i um, so you did you just ask your team members like you know, what do you feel comfortable to talk? Do you want to talk to people? What would you want to talk about like and kind of just do it that way? Yeah, I kind of went with um, kind of a care free approach. Like if you had something you wanted to talk about, that's, you know, just let me know what it is. And if you didn't know what you wanted to talk about, I would kind of prompt them with something I think would be awesome for them to share. Or if you were like, I really don't know what to talk about, you could do a giveaway. <laughs> um, so I had a couple giveaways and then that's basically like helping out, but not having to really talk for a long amount of time, you know? So I just kind of, I posted in my, in my group, in my team nail style, and then I private messaged a few people um, and people had already kind of messaged me. Um, like I know Carolyn had reached out and said she would love to do it. So I knew there were some people that would absolutely do it. Um, Connie did, Jen did. So I knew I had a few people that could speak and I just messaged um, other people 
Right. I asked them and I said, no pressure. If you're not comfortable, you know, don't worry about it. But, um, you know, I think it, uh, you know, I said to them, I think it will be a good thing because mm -hmm. sometimes you'll step out of your comfort zone for your team members. Not, you know, you're not yourself maybe, but you're like, I want to be, you know, do this for my team. So I will get myself like, you know, we had one style. She's like, I, I'm scared to death, but I'm going to do it and I'll figure it out as I go. You know, yes. so, and I, mean, I, was, I was the same way when Kelly asked us to do it and I was like, Oh, Oh my God, I don't know if I want to do this. You know what I mean? And it was yeah, just like, scary. okay, what time do I have to go online? What do I need to say? You know what I mean? But and it was, it was really scary. And I think, and I'm on the East coast time. So, and I think she did it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or whatever day it was, I was at work for, you know, 15 hours. And then I had to stay up till like 11 to do the, the video and I'm like, I, you know, I must've looked like a mess, but I was like, you know what, like you said, I, a, I wanted to do it because if I had prospects in there, they were seeing my face, which I thought was important. Um, and I, and like you just said, like I wanted to do something outside my comfort zone, you know, and it was just like, and in the background, we were all texting each other after we were done. Like, oh my God, you killed it. Like you did such a great job. And I feel like that builds your team up too. Like, I just like you, you yeah. feel for those people, you know, like Lindsay was right before me, like talking about the comp plan. And I'm like, and she was like, I'm so sorry. I was late. I'm like, no way, girl. You're like, you killed it. Like, that was awesome. And it brings that, you know, relationship that building their relationships with your stylist, even to like a higher level. You know, and it's, it's something that you're talking about going, oh my God, I can't believe I had to just do that. But it was fun and, you know, I got the butterflies in my stomach. And I just feel like that's such a great thing that you guys, you know, just decided let's just go for it. Right. Like when I set the date, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. It was kind of like, let's set the date and then I'll figure it out because I'll have to, right? If, if it's, Tuesday, I have to have a lineup. I have to know who's speaking. I have to know what I'm saying, you know? Right. Um, and I feel like that pushes me so much with this mm -hmm. business. It's just, it's the, you know, the five, four, three, two, one thing, right? You just yeah. say you're doing it, set the date and worry about it later because it will get done. You'll do it and it'll be fine. Yeah. And what I found with a lot of, like we had um, a private message thread for anyone that was speaking just so we could chat. Yeah. And everybody was the same way. Like, oh my God, you know, uh, you know, freaking out after they're live. And, and you're so much harder on yourself than you are on anybody else. Mm -hmm. So when we were all watching, I'm like, that was great. Thank you so much. And everyone's like, no, it wasn't. And I'm like, it really, it was, you're just being super critical of yourself because it's, you know, you're, you're throwing yourself out there and, and I get it cause I'm the same way, but, um, you know, you have to realize that people aren't being that critical of you. They're just listening. Right. What you have to say. And what, what I might have to say maybe doesn't, you know, resonate with someone, but what someone else has to say that it, that hits them and they kind of say, Oh yeah, that kind of makes sense to me. So like everyone has their own, you know, viewpoint and you never know what people are going to, you know, strike a chord with. Absolutely. And I feel like, like you said, it was like, you just, you did, you guys decided to do it and you picked a date and then you figured it out afterwards. And let me tell you, Kelly France did the same thing. She goes, okay, so we're going to do this now. Now, how, how do we do it? What are we going to do? So like you gotta like you guys gotta like everybody has to remember like everybody's doing this like no one has a complete script of what's gonna happen until you say to yourself I'm gonna do it and then afterwards now you guys do have a script of kind of like okay I liked how this all went uh, let's keep these things let's move these things but until you just do it like yeah. you're not gonna know what really is going to technically work you right know? so like people say just start. Right, but yes. it's sloppy or whatever, just start do it, and so then you guys already have that behind you. You already did the first one, right? And that's really we, cool. You know, we could do another one with different people or the same people, or we could do we could just add people to that group, it's still open. And then the other nice thing is the people that are still in that group may still be thinking about it. So if we run another one, then they right. might hear something different. So they're still in there. Um, so it's good. You know, I can, you know, new people that are coming on, if they have someone that 
has a question and they don't have their own like considering color street group this is a great place for them to go because not everybody has their own group for just that you know yeah. so this is kind of a nice place to put those people that mm -hmm. maybe want to check out the comp plan maybe want to kind of get a feel for the people on the group mm -hmm. this is a good place to put those and i encourage anyone in the group in our team to put people in there or any team to put people in there just so that they can get a little bit of a behind the scenes look you know yeah no i think it's awesome because you guys just created major content from now until whenever you guys want to get rid of it, you know? So even if, you know, you're thinking to yourself, well, why would I talk on this because I don't have anybody coming in? It doesn't matter because, you know, a month or two months from now, that person could come and you could put them into that group and they'd be like, oh, wow, she actually was talking in that group? That's actually really cool. And that connection between that stylist and that person that you're, you know, that potential person coming a stylist that that relationship is going to build even more you know so i just kind of felt like yes like get as many people on there and doing this because it's going to help in the long run so that's it's really really huge right and even new stylists i was like just join the group because mm -hmm. you're going to hear the comp plan explained which is so much different than looking at it on paper especially oh, when yes. you do, you're like what but when you hear <laughs> it explained it's so, it makes so much more sense and then you can always go back to it and want rewatch it at another time so that was kind of nice like um even for the new stylist and to get to know people in their team when they're you know still new so it's kind of good all around i think yeah yeah i'm hoping more people will do it and i would love to do it like you know, for Team No Republic as well. Like, I'll probably do it like after the New Year because if Kelly's doing one, might be a little bit too much. But um, you know, and I think it'd be really great for yeah. for like almost like all of the leaders to almost have like their own like little like because it's a smaller group. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's a little bit more intimate um, yeah. when you do it that way. A little bit more personal. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. and they get to see like with Kelly's group. Um, you know, it's great because, you know, everyone's so used to doing lives and whatnot, but we don't interact with them all the time. So it's kind of nice just to know, oh, that person, you know, I can message that person and they're going to get right back to me or whatever. So I kind of like that about it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. How about you guys? Like Connie or Carolyn, Jen, like what, what were your, like, what are your thoughts? Like, how, how did you like it? Sammy, you want to go first? I'm just jumping in. <laughs> go ahead, go, ahead, go, go Carolyn. <laughs> I feel like it really, it, 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 um, it's more personal. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, I think, I think our QA groups are nice and people go in and, you know, they, they can look, but I, I feel like seeing people's faces and, you know, it just seemed more, I don't know if intimate's the right word, but yeah. more personal. And, um, and like Margaret was saying, we can just build on that same group by adding content once a month or, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. And, and, and new people who are there can come in and, and when we do one and, and say, oh, I was in this group a month ago and I learned all this and that. You know what, like it, I think it's just personal. That was a yeah. lot of blah, blah, sorry. <laughs> no, no, I think you're right. I, I feel like it, you know, like, like I said, well, well, both of us, all of us are saying, you know, Kelly's group is great, but it's, it's just so massive yeah. that um, it's, it's very intimidating to see all these people, you know, commenting and it's kind of like, and, and like Margaret said, it's almost like so professional too. It's kind of like almost unrelatable, like in a way, you know, because these people are joining and they're kind of like, am I, am I going to have to do this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Right. So I think it's nice kind of seeing the person that puts you in there talking. Uh, and, and we can talk about our, well, not that we're not part of Team Nailed It because we are. Absolutely. But we're talking about our team on a smaller level, the people that mm -hmm. when you're on your call every week or whatever, these are the people you're going to see and you're going to be working with. Yeah. And I felt like that was important too. Mm -hmm. Totally. I totally agree. I think what I liked about it, can you guys hear me? 
Yeah, now I can. Yep. Okay. Um, I think what I liked about it, like what Carolyn was saying, it's our team, right? So Kelly's got her heavy hitters and we're kind of the medium hitters right now where they're up and coming for this area. So when people join us, they're going to know you. They're going to know Margaret Gresham. They're going to know Dina. Those are people that they're going to be able to relate to that if they can't get to their you know, person that signed them on, they can get to somebody else that they've now seen in that video. So I think it made it a little bit nicer that it was more relatable. People that are, you know, starting out as well, but also that you could easily attain to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. How about you, Jen? I, um, yeah, I thought it was great. I first have to tell everybody the little, like, concoction I just made up here. So I'm walking around with my phone in the cover of my blender <laughs> and I have it's propped perfectly and I'm walking around with it I'm so, I just made lunch I'm folding towels I'm sorry I'm just you, really you, impressed like do you see me on the move you're not on the, trapped in the car this week I was no I know soccer's over thank goodness anyway um so, no, I thought it was great, and um, the other thing that I liked about it for the people that we put in it was that um, I feel like it would be, I felt like it felt more exclusive for them to see that there was only, I don't know, how many people were in the group, like 30-ish or something, if that? Yeah. Um, so I felt like that made it feel a little more exclusive for them rather than being in like the team nailed it one with how many hundreds of people in it yeah. um that it was something we were doing special for them and then i would just i would just echo everything that's been said then that it's um just seeing faces and hearing names that then they would see and hear and being able to talk about people that then they would be able to connect with and see and all that kind of stuff so i thought it was great how about like on, because I felt like it, it's really good for me when I start like talking about a group like that, that's going to happen. Like when I'm trying to get people in, it's kind of like a place for them to go. And that's why I like my like nail boss question and answer group, because it's kind of like, Hey, don't message me. Just click the link. Or sometimes I might say message me, but, or comment below, because I feel like if you're putting it out there in social media, I think some people are kind of like, Oh, I don't know if I really want to comment like right on Facebook, like, yes, I want to be in the group. But when you have the link there and you're saying, you know, come in and, and, and you know, um, just listen to what this business is about instead of being like, hey, let me tell you. I think it's almost like a safe zone for people to like a, a place for people to go. Do you guys agree or? Absolutely. Yeah. Because they're not being put on the spot. They can right. just watch it and, and no one's going to ask them, so what do you think? You know what I mean? They're just watching it and they're making up their own mind and no one's like, you know, talking to them directly. Mm -hmm. There's other people in the group. Yeah. So yeah, definitely feels a little bit less pressure and people are more willing to click it and go in and just kind of watch and not feel like, oh, I got to come back with an answer right away. Right. Yeah. Right, but can I ask a question? So yeah. then, what did everybody do for follow-up? Because I felt like I made such a big deal about no pressure, but then I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, You know, I did, um, I followed up with a few of the people, um, but I didn't do it right away. Like, I gave them some time to kind of think about the group and kind of think it over. And then I kind of just messaged them and, um, said like, hey, you know, just wanted to know what you thought or if you had any questions or concerns, you know, um, yeah. just kind of touch and base type of thing. Yeah. So, I did I, the same thing. I did get back some concerns. Um, so I, you know, I was able to address those. So it was kind of, it was kind of good for kind of like finding out where they, where they were at and what they were, was kind of holding them back. Right. Yeah, but they're still in that group, and I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna, there's some people I didn't talk to just because I know, you know, I'm just kind of letting them be there for a little bit, but 
I'm right. sure, you know, we'll do something else. Mm -hmm. We don't want to keep hounding them, but there were some people I did message to follow up with. Yeah, that's what I did when I um, did Kelly's one. I, I private messaged them just asking them, hey, do you have any questions? I'm here for you. Just let me know type of thing. I left it pretty vague. Um, but a lot of those people were also in my mail boss question and answer group. And I was really like trying to post in there like every day. Um, and it's funny because I have people in there. I think everybody in there has like signed on. Um, but I had people in there for like months and months before they, before they signed on. Right. Like you just don't know right. when it's going to hit home. You can't push them. They have to be ready. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a huge thing. Cause the more you push, then they, they hop on, but then they, they don't do anything. I feel like, I feel like it has to be on like their terms. So even though we're kind of like, come on, come on, like, let's, let's just do it. But I think you really do have to wait for them to kind of jump in with two feet. Right. That's what I've noticed in the last year. But, but then again, everybody's different. So, you know, it's hard I to think, say. But. I think that's right. I'm just like, I want to get it. <laughs> I know. You're like, come on, come on. What are you waiting for? <laughs> and some people need that. Like some people need you to be like, when are you joining my team? Do it right. today. Like some yeah. right. people need that like urgency or you, they'll just not do it because you haven't gotten in touch with them. So right. you, it's really kind of trying to read the people that are in that group and um, just kind right. of getting, a, getting a, a feel for like what, how they want to go. You know what I mean? Like, do they want you to keep asking them or are they going to come to you or, right. you know what I mean? Totally agree. Yeah. Well, I'm so proud of you guys that you guys, oh yeah, Jen, go ahead. Oh, she's muted. Um, for, so for anybody who had put people in that group, um, did anybody get anybody to sign on as a result of that? Yeah. And then my second question actually is to you, um, Margaret, to Marzio. Um, have, do you know, has there been any chatter about whether or not at some point they might put a freeze on adding new stylists? So I two questions. <laughs> we, did, we did have people sign up after the event. Awesome. Okay, cool. So that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Good. really cool. Um, and no, no freeze. Why do you think that they would? Why would you think that? Um, I was just curious because I've, um, well, when, so the other direct sales business that I am a part of um, had done that at one point because, um, and it was just a temporary thing, um, just to get a handle on the growth and, um, and the ability to deliver the product. I mean, obviously, we've all been feeling this the last couple of weeks. So um, it was just something that crossed my mind as curiosity. Is the company growing too fast for its own good? Well, they just I had mean, the new machines delivered this week. So I'm hoping that that's going to help with production because yeah. we're all like feeling that pinch for sure. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And then um, I like that they put up today about 100% nail polish versus them going after people that are saying that they're polished, but they're actually vinyl. I actually sold a set of nails to a Bella Hoot stylist who came to my event this Saturday. So Bella Hoot says that they're 100% nail polish. I asked her if she had a sample. She doesn't carry samples. And I actually asked her for her card. I didn't get a card from her either, but she bought a set of uh, nails off of me. So I was interested to see what their product was like too after reading that email. Yeah. Well, they have patents on all the stuff, so they're yeah. following up with that. So even if something come, pops up, like we have to know that it's going to get investigated. Yeah. They're going to, you know, their lawyers for Color Street are going to get to the bottom of it. Um, yes. And I think that's why nothing really kind of has taken off because exactly. they're kind of on it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and you know, Jen, I mean, they, I mean, we are growing fast. We're growing really fast, probably at like a rapid rate. Um, I think, you know, having Melissa in place is like amazing. She knows what she's doing and she's extremely professional. Um, but, you know, like anything, it's like, you know, they have to, you know, interview people for all these mm -hmm. positions. 
then they hire them and then they gotta you know and, you know then they have to all be trained so um would they do that i don't know i, I haven't heard anything like that i'm saying probably not but mm -hmm. But who knows? I, I, could, I could totally be wrong, but I haven't heard anything like that. Yeah. Now, I was just curious. Um, like I said, my, with Pure Haven, they did that when they, the company was going through some changes, um, changing hands. But um, yeah. just at some point to kind of reel it back in. Right. Yeah. It's just curious. Well, you know, I didn't realize that they package them all by hand. Yeah. Well, I think that's a big deal when they get changed the packaging. Yeah. I mean, like they're packaging so all of these nail strips by hand. Yeah. Those are the lot, like the line, the assembly line. Oh. So yeah. that's time consuming. Now and never. Yeah. Extremely. Extremely. I, I had no idea. idea. But honestly, I, I think that's a selling point. Like, get in now because. What? You're getting yeah. in early, you know, right. that's like what we should be trying to tell people that are like thinking about joining because we are starting out and yeah, there are like a little bit of kinks here and there, but when we're, when we're fully operational, we're going to be looking pretty good, you know? Yeah, I kind yeah. of get it saying like, you know what, like we're dealing with all the bumps in the roads. So like when I was with Beachbody, you know, you had all these people who were at the top, but they would say, like, they would tell us, like, all the, the, the bumps in the roads that they had. But I'm like, yeah, they did all the bumps in the roads, but guess where they're sitting? Pretty. <laughs> so I kind of look at it like, these are our bumps in the roads. And like, Margaret, what you said was right. Like, once we're in, like, full production and, and people, more people start joining, it's, you know what, it's, it's going to feel good, you know? We just have to like hang tight and it's hard, man. It's hard to stay positive when, you know, I've got events up the yin yang and I'm kind of like, Oh man, I don't know what to order them now or later when they come in. Like it is, it's stressful. I mean, look at, I had to borrow stock from you because my stuff wasn't coming in and I just got it Friday. So when I gave you back your stock, I came home to four envelopes of stock. And now I'm, I'm buying the extra shipping, the, the FedEx two day shipping because I need them. I need them. For I just did that too. I've got, I just had three of them delivered today because I need these nails. I have people waiting for them. Never mind events. I got people waiting for them. I know. I I'm have a, I, oh, sorry. What did you say, Margaret? I was just going to say, I've been telling people if there's something they want out of stock to order the buy through, get one with something else. And then I'll do my best to get whatever it is they want. Mm. Them. Mm. And I just try to, when it comes back in stock, I try to order it. Just because I, I want to, you know, I want that customer to feel like, all right, she got it for me. You know what I mean? Right. And I, and I send it to them for free. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to get it in a buy through, get one or in a party link for free. So, um, you know, I'm okay with that right now because they're spending, you know, $40. Right. For the buy through, get one. So that's how I've been doing it. And I know not everybody, you know, wants to do that, but I've been trying to keep down. I haven't heard have too many complaints that way. Yeah, because I definitely I have people that were trying to order over the weekend. <laughs> All the stuff that they wanted was out of stock. So like I'm still honoring my my good my uh, <laughs> my Black Friday and my Cyber Monday because the stuff that they want is out of stock, and I'm like. I'm just going to honor it all. And I'm like, okay, so I have like a list of what people want. And as soon as it comes in, I'm either going to buy it or like I have them, I have them on speed dial. They're in stock. You know what I mean? So, right. and then, you know, and like you said, like it's a little bit of a bummer because, you know, we're going on and we're buying it and we're paying for the taxes and the shipping. But I want to make sure that my customers are happy because I want them to be repeat customers coming in, you know, and knowing like, Hey, you know, Margaret went beyond, above and beyond to get me that nail set I really wanted for, you know, my niece or my kids or whatever, you know, so customer service, I guess, on our, on our part. <laughs> Did anybody get any of the Black Friday nails? No, no I didn't. Yeah, none. They said the blue ones went within two hours. Yeah, those are pretty. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're really nice. And they just said today in the email that Bill's talking about bringing them as a permanent part of the line. So nice. that'll be good. Bill is the bomb. Bill's the man. <laughs> he, he'll get it. He's the next one to get a lobster. 
Yeah, yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you guys. This was awesome. Um, I hope everybody watches the replay so that they can get a feel for it. And maybe the other leaders on the team will um, do this for their team, you know? And then maybe um, Team Young Republic can do one maybe at the beginning of the year. I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, there was also a, a meeting on Team Nailed It that um, one of the girls did, did she did um, a sneak peek event. I think her name was Jackie something. It was in like October. Um, so you can always search that too in Team Nailed It, recruiting meeting. And I think, I think that she talked about her, she does like a sneak peek once a month for one day a month or something. Yeah. So that's like another idea if, if people were looking for something else, you know, she puts all her hostesses of parties in there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Cause those are, you know, those are big potential. people to start with, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> um, I think I remember listening to her. Yeah. She was good. Yeah. And it's just good to get more information too. Cause you know, you could do it 500 different ways. You just have to, you know, totally you just have to do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cause like you said, you gotta get like that first one done and over with, put it behind you. And then, so you can just kind of move forward with it, you know, and then you guys right. have some awesome content. Right. And it's good to practice live too. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I totally agree. Well, thanks guys. Thanks ladies for jumping on. I love seeing you guys every week. Thank you. You know, because it's like we were all like working so hard, like, and not seeing people. So I love connecting with you guys on these Monday nights because I just kind of think it's cool. I like these Zoom calls. Hey, do you still have your crazy nails on, Margaret? I do. <laughs> oh, you didn't change them? <laughs> no, I didn't have time. And it was so funny because, oh, I like those con. Still the turkey uh, trot. One of the one of the women um, that commented on my post, she uh, works at the Y, and I had to go pick up Jake. So I walked in, and she waved to me, and I ran over, and I went, <laughs> and she started laughing. I'm like, I still have them on. I'm the crazy nail lady. Like, I might even keep them on and take them off tomorrow at work. I don't know. We'll see. My nails looked like that last week, and I said it was like bad wallpaper. That's just like layers and layers and layers of bad wallpaper. Oh my God, there's so many layers on my nails right now, like. That it, it is getting like a little caught a little because there's just yeah. like so much. I'm like, oh my god, this is crazy. But like a lot of people like had their nails done or something. So I'm I was like, all right, well I'll just put it on. I'll just put it on my nails. Whatever, I don't care. Right. The funniest thing is there was an older woman. I don't know if you heard the older woman at the end of the night. She must have been 75 or 80, and she was you know she's looking and she was like, what are these? What are these? So I put a sample on her and she was like all over it. She's like, honey. I want the neutral with glitter, the neutral with glitter, all, all the neutral with glitter. I was like, you can have every single glitter I, I own, lady. <laughs> Sign her up. Sign her up. Right? I know, right? I should have said that. I'm like, you could have been a, a stylist for your, all your friends. <laughs> you poor so chic or um, Penny Lane. Right, right? Exactly. Um, yeah, she was her. Sweet. But, all right, ladies. All well, right. thanks for jumping on. And, um, oh, have a good week. This is like the end of the week. Friday is our last day, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Here yeah. In November. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm like, I, I'm at one enhanced commission. I'm like, I got to go for the next enhanced commission. I got to. Yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> How are we doing on our numbers? Are we good? Yeah. Yeah. Numbers are amazing. Yeah. It's okay. crazy. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Miss Carolyn, did you hit your 24? I think um, she's close. Uh, yeah, I'm close. <gasps> Amazing. 2,400? Yeah, she's yeah. nuts. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I just got no. over 2,000. I'm like always behind her. I'm always behind her. <laughs> always. <laughs> What's going on? What are you people doing? No, you know what, Jen? I actually, I ended up getting a couple of good parties and they wiped me out. So a lot of mine have been restocking sales. Yeah. And then I've got a bunch of events. So it's like, I've just been putting them in under that party. Back on. Dude, every, Carolyn. Time, every time I sell, I replace. So if I do an exactly. event, I do a show, I just replace. Yep. Yeah. That's what I'm doing now. So you just yeah. have to. Rock the nail. Yep. Get the money for the holidays. Yeah. Ugh. It just seems like the money comes in and then I'm pushing it right back out buying new nails. I know. It's like I, I never seem like, like it says, oh yeah, you made this amount of money. And I'm like, 
well, where the hell is it? Because I just spent that amount for nails. Where'd it go? So, I don't know. I might not be doing it right or something. I don't know. You get your commission. Right, I know. But you know how we get paid every week and then you get paid the monthly? Yes. Right. Well, when the money comes in during the week, it's going right back out because I just did a reorder. Right. Yeah. That's what I do. But my yeah. com the commission is yours. That's yours. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's the one yeah, I have to say. You're going at your events. You're making it all back. Yeah, yeah, true, true. But I'm pushing that in. Like, I don't know. It just seems like all the money's coming in and then it's going right back up for stock. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, ladies. All right, ladies. Well, good luck at all your events and everything. All right. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.